Well, hello everybody, it's James VA3JPX, and today we'll be making a two part video series on how to program your trunk tracking scanner. The scanner I'll be using will be a unit in Bearcat 996T base station scanner, and the software we'll be using will be FreeScan version 2.15. We will also be using some external resources such as radioreference.com to help us along. And the second part of this video series will be how to program basic conventional analog frequencies into your uh, scanner. Um, and we'll be using the same um, hardware and software. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I'd like to make sure that everybody understands is you have to make sure that the scanner can communicate with your computer. Some people are programming their scanners using a USB to serial device that uses a Windows prolific driver. Other people are using just a straight DB9 serial cable to the radio. Um, what you'll want to do is consult with the FreeScan message forums on the FreeScan website as well as the owner's manual from your scanner and make sure that the both uh, that both devices the computer and the scanner can communicate with each other. The first thing that I like to do when programming my scanner is to make a backup of what I already have programmed into the scanner. So in the event that I make a mistake, I can just simply revert back to what I had before and I'm good to go. Um, now to do this with FreeScan is you launch a FreeScan software, click on Scanner, click on Download Programming, and then in the free scan read from scanner window, you'll want to check your COM port. In my case, it's COM port 5, and my port speed is 115.200. Um, you'll want to select whichever matches uh, your windows and your scanner. The next step is to click on Q system list. And this will give you a listing of what systems you have installed on your scanner. To download, you click start download. Okay, the download is complete. Now we'll click close. And what we'll want to do is save our, uh, our downloaded information to a file. In this case, I'm going to save it to the default, which is BCD996T, which is my scanner, and today's date. There we go. So that's all backed up. So what I'm going to do now is clean the slate. We're going to go File, New. Now, when programming trunk tracking scanners, it's a lot different than it was years ago when we used to program conventional frequencies such as amateur radio, uh, uh, aircraft, um, you know, CB frequencies, etc., etc. The trunk tracking side of the programming is so different now that it's kind of confusing, especially if you've never programmed a scanner before um, that uses the trunk uh, tracking technology. So luckily for us, uh, both you and I, there's a website called radioreference.com. And providing that you have an account on their system, um, you have access to their databases for trunk tracking, frequencies, systems, talk groups, etc., etc. That's maintained by the global community. Uh, FreeScan has access to the um, website where it'll pull down the information that you need. So you don't have to manually set up your systems, your sites, your groups, etc., etc. It's already maintained. It's a database. It's stored on their website. And uh, it's, it's free for you as long as you have a radioreference.com account. Um, so to access that, uh, in FreeScan, you'll click on File, select Import, then choose Radio Reference Trunk. You'll put in your login information, uh, click Connect, and then you'll need to choose your country. In my case, we're going to choose Canada, so I'll double-click the Canadian flag, my province or state, which is Ontario, my county or city is Ottawa, and available systems. Uh, in this particular example, I just want the Ontario Provincial Police. So that is actually on the Bell Fleet Net, Ontario Provincial Government Zone 2, which is a Motorola Type 2 system. So I'll select that. 
And you'll find in here uh, we have a bunch of sites. Now these are the repeater sites across the province of Ontario. Um, the only one that I'm interested in is Ottawa. So I'm going to click None, scroll down, choose Ottawa. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to choose None. And these are the groups that I want to scan. I just want OPP. So I'm just going to put a check mark in OPP. Lastly, um, right here is the system name. Now it defaults to Bell Fleetnet Onta. I'm just going to call it uh, Fleetnet. Oh, I know what it is, so that's all that matters to me. Click import. All right, so it's now imported. I'll just exit out of the radio reference import tool. Here are um, our systems, or main system, I should say, with uh, which is FleetNet and, and uh, the default site that we've chosen is Ottawa, and these are the groups within it. So what I also want to do is up here where it says FleetNet, I want to go to the ID mode section right here and set it to ID scan. This way the scanner will only scan the groups that I have selected. What happens is if you leave it in ID search, um, there's a bit of a problem there. If there's any new talk groups that appear on that site that you have not selected, it'll automatically start scanning those as well. So you could be sitting there listening to OPP and then all of a sudden a local tow truck company might just pop in and start you know, talking away and that's not what you wanted, right? So just choose ID scan and then the scanner will just scan the ID groups you've selected. Now our next step is to send it to the scanner. So what we'll do is click scanner, upload programming. Now make sure your scanner's turned on, your cables are plugged in, the scanner and the computer can talk to each other, okay? Make sure that you have that first. Click upload programming. Now in here, uh, you'll see we only have the uh, system that we've chosen, which is FleetNet. Um, if you're programming this for the first time, I'd say uh, put a check mark in Erase All Systems and Settings. This way, whatever you have in there will be removed. You'll be starting off with a clean slate. If you have any other frequencies or systems that are programmed, or any characteristics of the scanner that you want to maintain, such as key beeps, um, you know, brightness levels, stuff like that. Um, you can just leave it on, replace any existing system by the same name, add remaining. Okay, but in this uh, example, we'll do erase all systems and settings, and then we'll click on start upload. Okay, so the upload is complete. We'll click on close, and this brings us back to our free scan programming software. If you're doing this in real time as you're watching this video, if you take a look at your scanner right now, you'll find that it is scanning. It's uh, doing its thing. Now, what you want to do next is save your new programming. And to do that, it's the same as we did before. File, Save As. We're going to call it uh, New. There you go. Done. You're off to the races. So stay tuned for episode number two, which we will look more in depth uh, into the uh, more conventional frequencies such as uh, CB radio, amateur radio, aircraft, FRS, GMRS, etc. So that'll be up probably within the next 24 hours, so stay tuned for that. If you have uh, any other questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. If you have any more detailed inquiries, send me a PM message right here on YouTube. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. If I can't answer your question, I will reply, um, letting you know that I, that I can't. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you have any questions, just fire them off. It's worth a shot anyway. Take care, have yourself a great day, and keep on rocking.